gonna hide. Probably shine lights at it and scream. Throughout the movie, we felt scared, elated, thrilled, and even heartwarmed. Is that a word? No, I felt it. Really, it did all the things a good movie should do, and it stuck with us all as a monument in filmmaking and as a part of pop culture. I mean, how many people do you know that haven't seen it? And then, after four years of anticipation, a sequel thrust forth from the loins of Steven Spielberg's mind. Jurassic Park, The Lost World. It was a promise of adventure, mystery, thrills, and Jeff Goldblum couldn't fail! In fact, this son of a bitch made over 618 million at the international box office, so it didn't fail, technically. But do you really scale failure and success by hundreds of millions? Yes, yep, mm, yeah. With that much money, you could, well, you could finance Jurassic Park 3. Oh no! So did it live up? Was it an experience to die for? Should I sell all my dolls and put the money in my space stocks? You know when you see a train coming from a couple thousand yards away, and you see a couple had a picnic on the tracks. And you're just out of earshot, so you can't warn them. And they're both deaf and blind, and they can't feel rumbling. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Without further ado, here's Jurassic 2. So here we commence on a deserted island where a bunch of rich pricks are enjoying being way too close to the tide. Soon we find the soon-to-be-a-prick little girl is wandered off, because, you know, dinosaurs are extinct, so who cares? I don't blame her. I'm not worried about them when I go to the beach. I just worry about sand Christmas. She then finds like a like a saltipus. How do how do I remember this shit? Oh, but then she's all like, oh. oh.